high fans of high quality entertainment. I am going to be unboxing some CDs by Stephen Wilson and Porcupine Tree, a band of course that Stephen Wilson is in. Thanks to Glenn Kellaway from the basement, I've become a huge fan of Stephen Wilson and I'm also becoming a fan of his band, Porcupine Tree. The albums I have of uh, Stephen Wilson's are The Future Bites, Insurgents, The Raven That Refused to Sing, Porcupine Trees, In Absentia, and my favorite Stephen Wilson CD at the moment, Hand Cannot Erase. But I love them all. <clears throat> and just a reminder, if you're watching this <laughs> uh, December 3rd or 4th, we're having another Beatles Get Back discussion December 4th at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so I hope you can join us. Be with uh, Glenn Calloway, uh, Sam St. John, and Robert's on my turntable, and maybe even a special guest or two. And also coming up on Monday, Glenn's going to be visiting again, and we exchange CDs, so I will be letting him know what I think of the CDs he gave me. So, looking forward to that. Here we go, opening up Stephen Wilson and Porcupine Tree CDs. And what I would love in the comment section below is for anyone that is a fan of Porcupine Tree or Stephen Wilson, let me know what you think of these CDs. The first one here is Stupid Dream by Porcupine Tree. I was looking for a knife here. Look, I'm keeping the, the hype sticker until I throw it out. <clears throat> and yes, I've heard that Porcupine Tree has a new album coming out next year. Comes with a, a booklet. I know what I'll be playing tonight. That's right, the best of Apple. So, open up the other package. <clears throat> and in this one, we have, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this one. To the Bone. I remember, you know, seeing this in record stores and, uh, you know, online and just not having any interest in checking him out. I, I even reacted to some songs on Patreon by Stephen Wilson and Porcupine Tree, and I gave them good uh, reviews and ratings, but, you know, it was just a first listen. Well, that's cool. <clears throat> so, 
So yeah, I, you know, I do read reviews online, but I love hearing from my viewers that know, you know, the CDs I'm showing and let me know your favorites, especially if you're a big Stephen Wilson fan or Porcupine Tree fan. Let me know what you think of each of these CDs. I'm probably going to play this one first. And uh, I just wanted to, to quickly read a comment from a viewer, a really nice comment. I said I would mention them in a video, so this is the video. Side note, I've been watching and highly enjoying your entertaining clips for four years or so now. This is the first time I posted a comment. So I'd like for you to know that both me and my wife Kathy have appreciated and enjoyed your cool presentations all through this time. I also really can't stand it when you get some pickle brain insulting your fun entertaining clips for no good reason. So just know you've got two people here who would stick up for you in a moment's notice against that nonsense. And finally, thanks for all the quality entertainment. Now he didn't put high quality, he just put quality entertainment. And so that's Mark from New Jersey, USA. So thank you very much, Mark and Kathy, for putting up with me for four years and sort of be being entertained. Now back to, where am I? <clears throat> Next up is Porcupine Tree Light Bulb, light bulb Sun. And it's got a hype sticker. The classic, <clears throat> I should read it. The classic album from 2000 featuring the singles She Move, Moved On and Four Chords That Made a Million. An album of stunning songs and startling musicianship. Breathtaking classic rock. I'll be the judge of that. <clears throat> Light bulb sun. <clears throat> Just think of that mo you know, so many uh, CDs are kind of the same, you know, you get your CD, you get your booklet like this with the lyrics and a couple of pictures. Sure miss the old days of vinyl. I don't know about you. Next up, Porcupine Tree, Dead Wing. Is this the one? No, this isn't the one. I was thinking it was a double album, but it's not. <clears throat> Porcupine Tree, Deadwing, the classic album from 2005. Oh, it contains, let's see here, it contains a booklet with lyrics. <laughs> oh, pictures. Oh, no lyrics. How disappointing. <clears throat> and the last one, yes, this is the double. Stephen Wilson, Grace for Drowning. And I read that it's basically two separate albums to, you know, kind of put together. <clears throat> Stephen Wilson, Grace for Drowning, 2 CD plus Blu-ray edition of the second album from the twice Grammy nominated producer, writer, and performer. And Blu-ray features 5.1 surround mix, high-res stereo demos, and films for five tracks.
<clears throat> Aren't there times you think to yourself while well, watching one of my videos, you know, I could be doing something else. Sometimes I think that when I'm doing my own videos. <laughs> there we go. Look at that, two CDs. Oh, oh yeah, one's a Blu-ray, so there's two CDs and a Blu-ray. I forgot already. There's a booklet. Now, the John Lennon official uh, channel is subscribed to my channel, one of the few channels they're subscribed to. And, of course, John Lennon and Yoko sent me some very nice things along with, you know, other YouTubers. But you never know if Sean Lennon's watching or not. Sean, you are invited to the Beatles Get Back discussion tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Just... Uh, I'll send you the link if you're interested. You never know. <sighs> you just never know. I at least at least I invited him. We could boot Glenn Kellaway off of the live stream so there's room for uh, Sean Sean Lennon. Because you don't want too many people on the live stream. Kick a couple of them off. Maybe uh, Robert's on my turntable can go and just be me and Sean Lennon talking. Anyway, those are my uh, latest unboxings of CDs. Like I said, I'd be really interested in your opinions if you're a fan of Stephen Wilson and or Porcupine Tree. So let me know in the comments section below and I'll see you on the live chat at 4 p.m. December 4th. 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I had somebody the other day ask me, they were in some other country, well, what time is it in so-and-so's country? And I felt, I didn't answer, but I felt like saying, just Google it, instead of me going to Google it and letting you know. <sighs> Gets me so mad. Have a great day. Bye.